Finding inspiration while making games can be a very difficult thing. Lately, we've been taking a look at some games made with Unity in order to find that and also some games to play. And in this video, we're going to cover three more incredible games with amazing graphics that are being developed with Unity coming up. Hey guys, Sam here, and in this video, we're going to take a look at three new games that are being made with Unity. If you're new to the channel and enjoy watching content like beginner-friendly tutorials, Unity tips and tricks, and videos just like this one, consider subscribing so you stay up to tune and join our community. And if you enjoy your time watching this video, make sure to give it a like so I can tell what type of content you guys like the most. Also, at any point during the video, check out the description box to see links to all of the games that we are going to cover in this video, a link to the playlist featuring more videos just like this one, and for our Discord server and social media. But now, let's check out some games. Number 1. Escape from Tarko Escape from Tarko is a hardcore and realistic first-person action RPG with MMO features and a story-driven walkthrough. It's being developed by Battle State Games who use Unity for the game. It's still not released, but an alpha version was available to select users during 2016 and then a closed beta was available for just a year ago. The game quickly got exposure for its high-fidelity visuals, shedding some light to Unity as a game engine that supports good graphics. So in this game, you pick to play as two of three factions available within the game, with the ultimate goal being to gather and extract loot that is littered around the city of Tarko. You can develop your character by customizing it and there is also a skill tree present which grants the player various perks and skills to use. The game has been in development since 2012 and there is no page on Steam for this game. That's because there is no planned release on Steam yet, although the developers are considering it and the topic itself has been brought up multiple times to the studio, and the game will be a traditional full purchase release with neither free-to-play nor microtransaction elements, which is absolutely massive. The microtransactions topic has been such a huge drama in the gaming community for like the longest time ever now, so it's very good to hear that the folks in the studio are trying to move away from it instead of orbiting around the topic. The game itself looks incredible and even though I haven't been able to play it myself, I watched many gameplays and live streams of people enjoying the game, so I am definitely looking forward to its full release. Number 2. Inside Inside is a puzzle platformer adventure game developed and published by Playdead, the folks who made Limbo, if you guys remember. Personally, this was one of my most anticipated games ever, and it honestly lived up to its hype, which we we're going to talk about, so don't go anywhere. So I'm just satisfied with that fact. I also want to hear, by the way, what games have you or are you anticipating the most right now? Let me know in the comments. As I said though, Inside is a puzzle platformer. You control a boy in a dystopian world solving environmental puzzles and avoiding death. The boy you're playing as is unnamed and you're exploring a surreal environment in which the visuals in general and the game itself is pretty much dark, with color used sparingly to highlight parts of the environment and mostly silent with occasional music. This has sort of become like the signature audiovisual style that Playdead uses in their projects, it seems. It features the similar 2.5D gameplay elements just like Limbo did, and it is an official successor to it. Playdead officially began the development of Inside with Limbo's custom engine, but then switched over to Unity in order to simplify their development process. Playdead started the development of Inside shortly after the release of Limbo in 2010 and released the game in 2016. There is also an iOS version of the game which was released in 2017. Earlier I said that this game has lived up to its hype. That is because Limbo quickly became one of my personal favorites and to hear that the team behind that game was working on a brand new game to be its successor, I had a lot of hype built inside of me in regards to how it will look, feel and sound while playing. Let's just say I got exactly what I expected. It was creepy, dark and graphic as Limbo if not more.
Number 3. The Forest The Forest is a first-person open-world survival game developed by N Night Games. This was one of the first games, or survival games rather, I ever tried back when it was in alpha, and I actually want to know, like, what was your favorite survival game? I know that they kind of lost their popularity that they once had as a niche, but still, let me know in the comments, I would love to check out what you guys are playing. So, in the forest, you as a player must survive on a forested island after a plane crash, during which a cannibal is seen taking the player's son away. You're supposed to survive by using the limited resources that you have on the island and create shelter, weapons, and other survival tools to help you. There's also a tribe of cannibalistic mutants who dwell in villages on the surface and in deep caves beneath the island. They're not always hostile, but some of them actually are, and especially under nights, they can go real mad. The game rose to fame because it had amazing graphics back when Alpha got released, and a lot of YouTubers played it because of that reason, and Unity didn't support image effects for free users back then, so a lot of people just realized what kind of visual fidelity Unity can reach. And funny story, I was actually an official The Forest YouTuber before I got into making Unity and game dev content, which is funny now that I think about it, but, but it's just actually like good times. I think I still have most of those videos private on my channel, which I will never ever publish. I might just look for them and watch just to cringe a little bit, and maybe, maybe when we reach 100k subs, I can actually release one of those like oldest videos ever to the public. I don't know, maybe like crazy ideas, let me know in the comments. The game was finally released as the first initial version just a few months ago actually, and spent a lot of time, a long time, being developed under Alpha and Beta. I really used to enjoy this game and I might actually go back and try it. And that is pretty much it for this video guys, hope you all enjoyed watching. If you did and you would like to see more games made with Unity and other game engines that you favor, make sure to leave a like down below, all the thumbs ups are super appreciated and make it very obvious for me to see what kind of videos you guys like watching the most. And now it's time for the question of the day. So what is your current favorite game is my question. Are there any games you would suggest me and the community to check out to get some inspiration for our own projects? or maybe just sit down and play and enjoy, answer in the comments down below. So I'm looking forward to hearing your suggestions. And with that being said, enjoy the rest of your Friday and I will see you in the comments section or in our Discord server. See you guys. Peace out. <laughs>